Welcome back, traders. This is episode four from the stockbandit.tv, and I'm really glad that you made it. Now, when you think of the overall trend, it's really important that you specify what time frame you're referring to. Case in point, let's take a look at the S&P 500. You know, over the past couple of months, uh, the trend for this index is lateral. We've just been moving sideways. In fact, if you take a look at uh, where we finished on November 12th, that's right there. We're down 10 points from there as of today. So we really have moved nowhere in two months. And, and that's been very evident with this trading range that we've been bound by. Now, over the past several days, though, the trend has been down. And so it really, it all is a matter of time frame. What are you looking at when you're looking at the trend? Well, when you think of a counter trend bounce, it basically means that you're looking for some kind of a reversal, but it's typically only just going to be a, a temporary one even whenever it comes. It's not that you're looking for a major stock market multi-year rally to begin. You're basically just looking for a bounce. And again, the duration of that bounce is really just going to depend on the length of the trend that's already in place. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to look at something that's going to help you big time when it comes not only to finding but also playing counter trend moves. So. One stock that's really been on my radar for the past couple of weeks is Moody's Corp. This is MCO. And really this stock has been range bound for quite a while. But in the past several days, this stock has really moved up to the upper end of its range and it's been sitting just beneath some important resistance and just basing here just under that resistance level. And so that gave it the appearance over the past couple of days that maybe it's primed for a possible breakout above this resistance level. So last night in the member area over at the stockbandit.com, this stock was listed for a trade on the long side with a 2350 buy point. Now that's right here where this trend line is. So what I was looking to do is go long above this trend line. And today this stock went ahead and moved on over that trend line and started to move higher and it did so on excellent volume, which is very good to see, especially on a breakout type play anytime, regardless of what the overall market's doing. We saw more than two times average volume on this breakout bar today, so that's very encouraging. So we're in a trade that is starting to work for us, and there's definitely no guarantee that it's gonna continue, but let's talk about in this video, why did I buy a stock when the market was in the midst of this short-term pullback and this short-term sell-off? Well. I did it for two reasons. I'm fixing to explain both of them. First reason is that uh, Moody's Corp had really been showing some great relative strength. You know, even before today's breakout, the past several days, this stock has just been channeling and moving sideways. It's not been giving back ground the way that the overall market has been, like the S&P 500. Look at what it's been doing during the same period. So even before today, this stock was showing some strength, and I like that. In fact you know, while the market was slipping, it was holding up very well. So that relative strength really helps me to identify good setups that are possibly going to be among the first to move higher once a big picture bounce actually starts. And then that brings me to the second reason why I took this trade, which was that after seeing the market move lower over the past several days without a meaningful bounce, the odds for a bounce really started to increase. Well, you know, individual stocks in the market in general can only move in one direction for so long, basically, before they start going the other way, before they bounce or pull back or react. And so, you know, with the major averages coming down so close to, to recent support zones, uh, like the S&P 500 moving toward the lower end of its, of its channel here, uh, NASDAQ and Dow, very similar charts, basically, I was viewing the short side as a kind of a higher risk side to, to be trading on right now until we see a bounce. So last night when I was looking for possible buys, Moody's had not only uh, formed a, a very nice base here over the past few weeks, but it also had been, uh, you know, I guess flirting with a possible breakout here. And, and that's a, 
you know, a good look that I like. It also had a very clear, well-defined trigger price, which was going to be right as that breakout occurred. So, since it had the relative strength and it was, uh, you know, with this nice base already in place, that put it right there at the top of my list. And so, really, the lesson here is as you consider making any counter trend trades. And by the way, we have yet to see that market bounce. So, you know, this simply was a good solid breakout today, and. Uh, we have yet to even get that market sympathy to, to really help it out. But back to my point here, you know, as you start to think about making counter trend plays, whether it's right now or whether it's in the future at some point, what you want to do is start with the stocks that have really participated the least in the current trend. So for the, for the S&P 500, if the current short term trend is very down, you want to find stocks that have been showing relative strength. And what happens is they're likely to be the first ones to start moving. They're going to be eager to go once the tide starts to turn. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for subscribing. Trade like a bandit and I'll see you soon.